What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am John Brown. Today, I'm checking out the Edge Duo microphone from Antelope Audio. It's a really cool mic and it has emulation um, that you can use directly through the Antelope Audio interfaces if you have their preamps or directly in your DAW as well. Um, but for this video, I'm not gonna use any of the emulation that comes with the Edge Duo. I just wanna hear what it sounds like as a mic and if it's basically worth a shit. So, I've heard that the mic sounds really good. So we're gonna try it on electric guitars. And it's, it's one of those things where you don't really use a uh, condenser mic very often or not that I see on heavy distorted guitars, but I'm quite interested to see the result of this. So uh, in the box, obviously, uh, that I've got open right now, I've got a pop shield, um, which I'll just leave in there for now as we're not gonna need that. I've got shock mount that has two sides to it. I'm not really sure why, uh, there must be a reason. And the actual mic, which is right here. It's very lightweight. Um, and then I think we've got something in the bottom here as well. Let me just put that back in there. So, let's put that down on the floor. Ah, yes. So we have this cable. So this cable's quite important and there's a reason for it. And it's because the microphone has, yeah, it does, a five pin XLR, which then splits to two XLR signals. Now, the reason for that is it contains two diaphragms, two large diaphragms, one on the front, one on the back. So you can turn them up and down individually for a figure of eight pan. And then you also have the edge quattro, which is obviously dual, but then dual each side. So you can make some pretty cool sounding and different sounding, um, you know, audio sources from this particular setup. So I say, I'm not gonna try it on my voice because I can't fucking sing, but I'm gonna try it on distorted guitars. <laughs> So my distorted guitar setup, I've obviously you can see all these amps behind me. In fact, you might not be able to see because my fat ass might be in the way. Um, but I've got the Mesa Boogie cab there, which is what I'm gonna mic up. Um, I've got a bunch of different amps turned on. I've got a Laboga Mr. Hector. I've got a Synergy Freyat module with the power amp. And I've got a Purple Nightmare. Whoop, I've got a Purple Nightmare here and a Hughes and Kettner Triumph Mark III. A couple of other things, Framus Cobra down there. I've got an Ampeat one. A Marshall 8100. Don't know which one I'm gonna try yet. I'm gonna to stick to one. And uh, I've got a reamp signal. So I, I, I recorded some DI guitars and I'm actually gonna get the guitar tone and move the mic around with drums on because that's kind of the whole point. Like we make it sound good in the room and then the mic position is to determine whether it sounds good with everything else that we've got. So that's my plan. For the reamp, I've got a radial 500 series X amp and it's going directly out of there into the front of my Ampi sw head switcher. And I'm just gonna switch through the amps, but I'm gonna get a guitar tone with my headphones with this one mic. I might blend it with the 57 that I've got on there, the T-Bone 57 copy, because it sounds really cool. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Um, but at first I'm just gonna try and get the mic sound by itself to sound good, the Edge Duo. So I've just thrown it in front of the speaker. Don't know why I've got it upside down. That's just the way that it, I don't know. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this reamp sound. I'm just gonna have a listen to it. I mean, what I'm using right now is I've got the Synergy Freyat Deliverance uh, in there with no pedals. I just kind of wanted to see what it sounded like. Um, with a, with a mic in front of it, because it sounded really good in the last video that I did. Um, so yeah, and then I'm gonna try it through a couple of the other ones and just see what it sounds like and try and get a mic position that doesn't, that basically doesn't suck against the drums. So um, 
Let's get it to a volume that's good, basically. <laughs> Okay, that actually sounds pretty good. Um, in my headphones anyway. So I use the uh, the open can headphones just because uh, like I find that I can judge it better. Obviously when I'm standing in front of the guitar amp, it's impossible to really hear it. But when it spikes out, normally is when I listen for it. It's when that sort of, it's normally a horrible spike because let's be honest, guitars are fucking horrible. Um, but I'm normally listening for when it jumps out and that's kind of like the loud part of the speaker, and it's usually at the same point, which is where the cone meets the uh, the edge. But uh, in fact, I'm just gonna have a little quick look now with my phone, and we can just see exactly kind of where it is. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's practically, yeah, exactly where. So where the dust cap meets the cone, it's generally the spot. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna create a couple of channels, record a left and right and see what it sounds like. Get this at a volume where it's similar to whatever else is going on and then just apply some EQ, a little bit of compression and see what it sounds like in the mix. But I mean, to my ears just then it sounded good, but it's always kind of hard to tell when you're standing in the same room as a cab. Um, not the ideal situation, but obviously we all have to have situations which um, might not be the best, um, especially in home recording, you know what I mean? So um, basically I just need to get the volume right, um, how loud we want the actual amp to be against the sound. So let me just solo this. <laughs> Thank you. 
So now I'm just going to record this down. Yeah, just get it down. Both channels are down. Right. And guess have a listen to what both of them sound like in context. I'm just going to do this with headphones to begin with. You can imagine that they are quite aggressive in that top end. This is what I was hearing before. Gonna add a 3A to it. Just touch it. So all I've done here is cut um, 600 hertz, uh, 675 hertz by 4 dB and 6.7 kilohertz by 4 dB, 3.7 dB. Uh, I'm just going to get a limiter on here to get it up to the volume that I want so it registers with the drums and let's just see how it sounds. So yeah, that was the Antelope Audio Edge Duo microphone on electric guitars. Sounded pretty good to me. Would probably mix it with another mic for guitar purposes, but even without the emulation, sounded pretty solid. And I didn't spend a lot of time moving it around. I'm sure with a little bit more, you know, experimentation, we could definitely get a better guitar sound, but it sounded pretty damn good. It was really in your face, which is exactly what you want from a heavily distorted electric guitar. Um, yeah, special thanks to Antelope Audio for sending that over for me, for me to check out. If you like the tone in this video, comment below, let me know what you think. Um, let me know what else you want me to test out. If you've got anything else you want me to try with this mic, let me know in the comments below. It's a really good sounding mic. I have heard it on my voice and it is absolutely superb, but I'm never gonna sing for you. Anyway, have a very pleasant day and I'll see you next time. Peace.